Alexia Nicole, Living My Life by Design. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since I've like just done a regular get ready with me chit chat type of vlog. Um, a few weeks ago, I think I posted that we were almost at 7,000 and I was going to do a updated Q&A for you all once we got there. I don't know. I haven't checked. I, uh, I don't need, I don't, I'm not a youtuber but it is what it is i don't even know where we're at with it as uh six so we need 50 more subscribers to get to the seven thousand. i think i posted that right when we were at six thousand. so after y'all watch this video or actually while you're watching it right now just go ahead pause the video just pause make sure you come back pause the video go subscribe make sure you're still subscribed because you know sometimes youtube unsubscribes you for whatever reason anyways so we're just gonna do a chit chat get ready with me and i'm gonna answer the questions that you all posted um that y'all really want to know and that main question am i still a flight attendant why don't i do flight attendant vlogs anymore you know all of that um, and then also I was gifted this beautiful little, look, look at this little bag, y'all. Isn't this cute? And you can like tie it and just, it's like a little knapsack. Um, I was gifted this by Merit Beauty. Um, they slid in my emails and they were like, hey, we want to send you some makeup. And I was like, you know, I read up about them, you know, just very natural, lightweight. Um, they're part of um, the clean beauty stuff in Sephora. And I'm actually heading out on vacation tomorrow to go to Costa Rica. Um, a little birthday trip, right? My birthday is this upcoming Wednesday, June 2nd. So go ahead and tell your girl happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, so I'm like, yeah, let me try this makeup out today and make sure that I'm going to bring this with me on the trip, you know, just get a full day's wear and make sure, you know, that it is really lightweight and all of that that they claim for it to be. So while we do this face before I need to run about the house, because of course I'm, I'm still working the day before I leave for vacation. Um, let's talk. Let's talk. So on my face right now, I just have my regular skincare. Um, I will put on a primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch. I think I'm almost out of this. Yeah, I am. Um, I'll just put it in just like my T-zone area where I truly, really get oily. So let's see. First question is from brown eyes hey brown eyes you're always commenting and i i love the interaction i appreciate it she says hey alexia how soon will you be moving into your own place i'm excited for you i'm actually here right now i have moved in um i posted the um y'all this is done okay I posted the empty apartment tour, what, about a week or two ago? So if you want to see what the place looks like, um, go watch that vlog. So yes, I'm here. I'm here now. All right, so let's get the face together. Yes. So these are called the Perfecting Complexion Sticks. I got three different colors in these. They let me choose from their full um, line of products. Some things were sold out, which is awesome. Um, that means their business is booming. Um, so I decided to get three of the Complexion Six foundation color, highlight color, and a contour color. Um, I don't remember which one was which. So this is what. This color is sepia, sepia, S-E-P-I-A. And then we have amber. Amber looks like that might want to try to be my highlight color i didn't realize that was that light <laughs> and then we have cacao and can, cacao is actually wow the cacao is actually really perfect for my foundation color so i don't really have a contour color here because 
this middle one would be just just too light so anyways let's continue on um nautica says hi alexia <laughs> why no more flight attendant vlogs i love them mix them in with your homework life vlogs i'm gonna get to that at the end y'all of the video because y'all know i can get long-winded and i just want to make sure that i get to whatever other questions there may be that's not in regards to um <laughs> My flight is in it life. Wade says, with all the success you've had and life experiences, good and bad, what keeps you grounded? Oh, Wade, do you think I'm grounded? <laughs> all right. That's, that's a joke, y'all. Um, and then to flight attendant related, have you ever been scared or how do you overcome that moment on the job? Oh, that's actually a different flight attendant question. I'll answer that one. Um, so one with all the success you've had in life experience, good and bad, what keeps you grounded? The bad experiences, honestly. Um, I, you know, I mean, success, yeah, sure. You know, I still don't ever have the mindset of I've made it or anything like that. Nowhere close to it. Um, but I am grateful for the way that my personal life has grown, um, my business life has grown. So yeah, so those successes are awesome, but um, the bad definitely keeps me grounded because I've had tons of not so great experiences in life, um, whether it's career wise or just personal life or whatever. Um, definitely, you know, my family and friends like, Although I may be on YouTube and I have a cute following um, of awesome people, I'm I'm not I'm I'm nowhere close to like being big time or YouTube celebrity or anything like that. So I have a really nice circle of friends that have known me literally since. Um, most of my friends I've known since middle school, high school, college, and I've, you know, I do gain new friends throughout the years, but I literally have the same friends and of course family that I've had my whole life and they know who I am and I, I, I just am who I am and I'm never, ever probably really going to switch that up. You know, of course you can have growth in different aspects of life, but I always think it's very important to remain true to who you are on the inside. Like... Who am I really? And who am I really? I'm really just chill, lay back, kicking with friends and family, and that's it. I like to get cute every now and then, and you know, do bougie things every now and then. Um, but for the most part, I just be chilling. <laughs> um, to flight attendant related, have you ever been scared, or how did you overcome that moment on the job? Um, have I ever been scared? Scared? Mm. In real life, not a lot of things scare me, to be honest. So we're gonna use the, the I think it was Sapia. Maybe I'll just try both to see. Maybe I'll put that super light one just like in the corner of the eye, right? Yeah, that's this one. So, oh, see, that's hardly showing up. Hardly, hardly showing up. So I may have to um, go a little, but that's okay though, because I don't really want like a huge beat look. I just want it to be more natural than anything else. Um, back to the question, have I ever been scared? I don't really, I don't ever really recall being scared. Um, I'm probably gonna just have to say no to that one, which is kind of boring, but uh, have you ever been scared and how did you overcome that moment on the job? I talked about, well, there's one incident and I talked about it a really long, long time ago in one of my JetBlue blogs. It's literally, literally like one of my first, first blogs as like a flying flight to uh, not training or anything. Um, but there was a time where the, the aircraft like dropped, you know, like it just, we just dropped, you know, midair dropped. And, um, I wasn't, 
I was caught off guard. And sure, I guess that would be my version of being scared, I guess, right? Um, because it just dropped and people on the plane screamed. Um, I had a basket in my hand because I was passing out snacks at the time. Uh, this is the Bounce Highlighting Balm. So we'll just kind of highlight the cheek area there. You know, just to kind of give that little glow. I like a little glow there, a little glow here. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, the plane had dropped, people screamed. But I mean, one thing that you, you, I don't know if they teach you this in flight attendant training, I can't really remember, but you know, as, as the flight attendant on board, um, you have to kind of, you have to keep calm because your passengers are going to be looking at you to see how they should react. So if I'm over here losing my mind, then everybody else is going to lose their mind, right? So I really do on the plane have, even if it's something that is a little weird, you know, I try very hard not to let customers see me like get nervous. Um, okay. Good question. Vernell asks, have you found your apartment? Yes, I'm here. And are you having separation anxiety from your old house? When do you move? Are you feeling it already or haven't hit you? Be safe. Thank you, Vernell. Um, actually, today is, I'm going to go say goodbye to the old house today. Um, my parents have moved into their new house as of yesterday. Um, and we they close on the sale of the old house next week friday but i i will be out of town so i woke up this morning i was like oh my gosh i'm not even gonna be in town for you know the the, the closing and i am the realtor um and i just want to say goodbye to the house so i did kind of get a little emotional like not like crazy tears or anything like that but i was like dang like let me go say goodbye so i'm gonna go do that sometime today um, these are, like, aren't these colors cute? These are the tinted lip oils. Um, oh, I don't know why I thought those were for my cheeks. Okay, so this is the face. These are, these are the face products. That actually looks really good, right? Um, I do still want to put, like, a little color on my cheeks, so I'm going to cheat and use, um, a different product. I got my eyebrows done the other day, y'all, and she did them way too skinny for my liking. But, you know, life goes on. So this is the Merit Beauty Volumizing Pomade, uh, whatever. So this is for the eyebrows. So it's in the color brown black. So darken them, just make them a little darker here. Just, just a little bit, nothing too much. Nothing too much. We're not going to like line them and do all of that. We're just going to bam, bam, bam. Simple. Um, so yeah, Vernell answered your question. I am feeling some type of way, but life goes on. <laughs> life goes on. I'm going to cheat again and use a little bit of Fenty um, bronzer. This is in Mocha Mommy. This is I like my face to have definition, y'all. Oh, and I got my hair braided last night, too, over my sister locks. Yes, I still have sister locks. Um, this this is the first time I've done this, and I'm actually really, really nervous about it. But I'm probably going to take them out as soon as I get back. Like, I woke up this morning wanting to take them out because I was like, I do not want to mess up my locks. But I also want to just be able to enjoy myself when I'm going to Costa Rica, and I plan on swimming like a little fish, and I don't want to have to worry about my locks um you know unraveling because for the most part they're locked but my ends are still a little loose this i'm cheating again this is the anastasia brow freeze um styling wax it's cl it's clear so i just literally put that on top of my brow and it's it's kind of like a holding gel like like an edge control <laughs> so it just keeps the brows in place it makes them a little shiny too but I can always uh, put some powder over there. Um, okay. Jay 
RN BSN says, hmm, I've been an A1. <clears throat> says, hmm, I've been a day one A1. Whatever shall I ask Miss Alexi Nicole <laughs> with the little devil face. <laughs> the next time I'm in Texas, I'd love to meet, meet and greet. Will you have a meet and greet for your fans? Um, in my mind, you're already my internet bestie anyway. Oh, that's so sweet. Y'all have asked me that before and I've said no. And I'm probably just going to keep saying no. Just because that is so awkward. It's like awkward to me. Like, I'm not Beyonce. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just If you ever come to Houston, like for real, and you want to, you know, like meet me, then slide in my DMs and say that. Like, I'm really just a person. Like, I'm just a person. Um. So, yeah. No to the actual, like, meet and greet. That's, uh-uh-uh. Not doing that. And then, um, <laughs> Courtney, if you watch this video, you just sent me a, a court to fly. Y'all follow her on um, YouTube. She does great flight attendant vlogs, okay? For those of y'all that are um, wanting flight attendant vlogs, go watch hers. But you just sent me a DM talking about, hey, Waze. Hey, girl, I have been on a 30-day um, workout um, challenging myself to just get back into the business of working out. Um, I didn't do anything too, too like strenuous on the body. I just did like a daily, like either the bike or I walked. Um, one or two days I did do some like strength training, but it was just nice to like get back and be consistent. So I like this color. This color is sangria. It's, it feels really good. Like it's it's a lip oil, so it's moisturizing the lips and it's giving me a little bit of color. I am uh, here for this. Um, but thanks, Courtney girl. Um, do, 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 Butterfly Gal B says, "Hi, Alexa. Any advice getting into property management? Also, can we be friends? We can always be friends, sis." Um, um, any advice into getting into property management? Yeah, um, so that's another form of, of real estate. So property management, people own properties, investors, right? They have all these properties or whatever, people that own properties and they're landlords and then they have tenants, right? Some people don't want to have to directly deal with the management of the property. So they hire property management companies. There's plenty of real estate agents that don't do just, you can do so much with a real estate license. And there's still a lot of real estate that you can do and not have a license, okay, just to be clear. But to do property management, you do need a real estate license. Um, I would just say just go get your license for one, if you don't already have it. And uh, just start marketing yourself. That is that is the biggest thing that you, you can do. You just have to start going out there and marketing yourself. And trust me, once you get your real estate license, these investors start boggling you down. I don't work with investors, but they're always in my email. They're always calling my phone. So do the same thing to them. You know, when they call you, ask them. Or join other property management teams. Um, learn the business. Learn the tricks of the trade. And um, go from there. Okay, that was fast. I really, I don't have anything else to do, and I did, I did extra. But I'm really liking um, how this, the foundation or what is it called, the complexion sticks feel. Like it looks, it looks really good. Um, okay, so that's that for today. So let's just finish answering questions. Oh, speaking of Courtney, Courtney. Um, would you do a step-by-step -step process on how to become a real estate agent? Court, I actually already have a video like that, um, but I can definitely do an updated one. Um, but for now, just go check out the old one. <laughs> um, YouTube Hacked by PCA says, would you rather have one person projectile vomit on your flight or have a flight where everyone is vomiting? I've kind of experienced both. I don't want none of it, sis. <laughs> I don't want any of the vomit, but I have experienced it definitely, and it sucks. Um, I would just, I would rather just, ooh, wait, ooh, 
No, I would just rather have one person projectile vomit because I have had a child projectile vomit all up and through his row. Luckily, he was with his father and his siblings, so it, it was them that got, you know, projectile vomited on. Um, I would rather have that than just everybody being sick on the flight because to me, if everybody is sick, that means it's a bug going around because not everybody gets air sick like that. So to me, that would bring other worries. And we ain't got time for that. Okay. Claudette says, Claudette aka Mimi says, have you set a five or 10 year goal? And if so, what is it? Um, you know what? I was actually just really thinking about this. Um, and I need to like reset these goals um, because my life has just really started like going in a, a different direction than when I had originally set them. Um, so we're going to have to revisit that conversation when I can like really have a detailed answer for you because I don't like just, especially about stuff like that. The tongue is strong. Okay, Whatever you speak, it. I believe in karma. I believe in things coming to fruition. I, be, I believe in all of that. So I am very careful of how I speak over my life and any other, I don't, I, I don't even like speaking over other people's lives. But so yeah, if we're going to be talking about some five to 10 year goals and if I'm going to be speaking it out loud, I need to um, know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, MWB123 says, what is the best way to balance real estate and flight attendant life? Don't go to flight attendant work. <laughs> Joking, but not joking, y'all. I haven't worked all of May because I don't know how to balance. Um, I was a real estate broker in New York City while flying only international flights, but it would be good to hear from you how you do it. Honestly, um, <sighs> honestly, my business is growing and I'm grateful for it. Um, but that's also showing me at this point in time that I need to start building a team. So either I've been looking into hiring a transaction coordinator or some type of assistant to um, help me manage like the day-to-day -day task. Um, because at the end of the day, truly, real estate is really just a lot of, it's a lot of paperwork. So once you get past the showing of the houses, um, it's just a lot of emails back and forth, making sure documentation is done, being on the phone, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I, I have felt a little overwhelmed the month of April. I truly felt overwhelmed with just a lot that was going on. And I knew that my month of May was going to be busy for real estate. So I, I dropped all my trips for the month of May. Now that's not always possible, right? Because I don't always have a line. Even like example, the month of June, I have a line. I was planning on dropping all my trips again. I only have two trips because I have vacation most of the month but I'm not able to drop the trips because they're all red because my company is crazy. So with that being said, it's telling me that I need to start putting some other things in place for my business to run smooth and for me to be able to still fly if that's what I choose to do. So for me, it'll definitely be hiring a transaction coordinator um, and possibly a showing agent. And that'll take a lot of pressure off of me needing to be present in Houston all the time. Um, Lillian Marino says, are you still working as a flight attendant? If you do, how many days, how many days do you work a week and how many days are you off? Which airline do you work? Thanks. Um, I don't have a set. So just 10 seconds ago, I was telling you that I didn't work the month of May. The job of a flight attendant is very flexible, but I can tell you for my company as a reserve, um, regular schmegler, you get 11 days off for the month. Once you get a line, you don't have a certain amount of days off. You just have a certain amount of hours um, that you work. Um, and there's a minimum and there's a maximum and you choose your sweet spot. So that's that. Um, when are we going to get another flight attendant vlog? Dijon1914 says. We'll be talking about that at the end. Um, Brown Eyes. She says, describe your best day as a flight attendant. My best day as a flight attendant is one leg and done to some really nice um, Caribbean layover. And I haven't had that life ever. Um, but most times, my best day as a flight attendant is going to be one leg and done. 
Um, it can be a long haul, um, even though we don't do long hauls at what well, they consider a three hour flight, I think, like the longest haul we do in my current airline, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, but one leg and done to just somewhere that has a really nice um, layover where I can like get out and enjoy and eat good with a good crew. Like I'm real simple. I don't need any like real specifics. I just want to be able to enjoy it and not be flying the entire day. I don't want no 12 hour duty day. Um, Eyes TV says, oh, <laughs> she said, no, that's not fair. You have to answer all questions. LOL, JK. <laughs> I don't have to answer all questions, but yeah, you're funny. <laughs> Um, Alyssa, Alyssa Roll says, what is one word you would use to describe yourself and why? I'm over here lotioning y'all because uh, I do have to go. It's 12 o'clock. Um, one word to describe myself and why? One? Just one. Thoughtful. Um... I don't really think I have to describe or tell you why I think I'm thoughtful. I just, I know that I'm a very thoughtful person. Um, that's just my nature. If I have to pick one word today, it would be thoughtful. Um, planes and cooking. That's interesting. Oh, you gotta, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and click and see what your channel is about. Um, are you interested in finding a boyfriend? <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested in finding my soul mate, okay? Not just a boyfriend for the meantime, in between time. Uh, that's, that's, I'm not interested in that. And I never have been. I've never been one to just be in a relationship just because. Um, but yeah, soulmate, they can go from friend to boyfriend to fiance to husband to baby daddy, you know, all of that good stuff. Yes. I mean, y'all, I'll be 33 in a few days. I, look, time is ticking. <laughs> um, oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. <laughs> so I guess it's time to talk about flight attendant stuff. Um, and I'm really just going to keep it short and simple. Am I still a flight attendant? Yes. I think y'all y'all got that from what I answered earlier. I am still employed with my airline as a flight attendant. That is definitely true. Do I fly a lot anymore? I I try to fly as minimal as possible for my mental health. Um why no more flight attendant vlogs? Simply put, my company asked me to stop. So I stopped. That's that, y'all. I cannot, literally cannot go into more detail about that. So that's it. Um, and yeah, so I'm sorry, you know, there's that is literally outside of my control. Just outside of my control. I want to still be a flight attendant. I still want to keep working. So your company asks you to do something and you do what you got to do. So that's it, y'all. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Um, I do have vlogs to be posted. I just need to figure out some time to edit them. I'm going to try to edit this one really quick and get it up for y'all uh, by tomorrow, Sunday, which I'll be, I don't, I don't know, tonight or whatever. Anyways, y'all, check out Merit Beauty. This little bag is so cute. I want to take it with me to Costa Rica, but I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Because I, I just want to be hands-free. Um, the face looks nice. Let's take the braids down. I, they're still really sore. I got them really big because I just wanted like a big chunky look. Um, but yeah. That's it, y'all. That's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.